So, I'm back for part two here. This is just cut out because I uh, actually, my kids put too much stuff on here on this uh, tablet, so I had to erase. I just erased um, TikTok and Roblox. And oh well, kids, deal with it. You got them phones and you'll be all right. This is important, I think. I think that everybody should have, you know, certain knowledge so they can do what they want to do here with this music stuff. So anyways, I thought I know this is very a little blurry here. I apologize. This is a cheap tablet, but I am trying my best here. This says Candlelight Beats. So you can click on it and you can hear it. If you can hear it from my headphones. Oh, whoops, hold on. I have it the wrong side. Woo! I like this. So since I like this and I want to use this sound, I am, and as you see, like, it gives you a little inclination that you're, that's what you're listening to. So you click and drag it. And you can't put it, look, you can't put it up here. That's the audio, that's the microphone. You can't put it right here. That's where, for the keyboard. You just put it where it's empty. And boom, and there it is. I am going to click and drag. Now this is one thing that I would have to say is not easier with uh, GarageBand. I like to use Logic Pro and with Logic Pro I can easily click and drag to like pretty far to like 129. I can't do that right here with um with uh oh, I can hear the microphone because I just clicked on it. This is the record button obviously. If you're trying to use audio, you have to click on audio. If you're trying to record for with the keyboard, you click on that. So I will go back with the microphone. Say, hey, if you can hear me better, shoot, I am wearing a freaking face mask. But what I'm doing here is I click record just for a second. And I'm going to do it again, and then I'll click and drag that. Because what I'm trying to do is I want that sound to go through the whole song. When you do recording it like that, then it makes it longer. I am so sorry. This is not the ideal uh, lighting and or, well, it's, it's, there's too much light probably that's reflecting off of this. I am not the best camera person, okay, I'll be, be honest. When it comes to like doing stuff like this, with music stuff, I just try to make things work. I try to be interesting and all this stuff. But anyways, I'm trying to go to like around 120 something out of it. So, cause like, make sure my song is long enough. So, I do this, but like I said, the upside with Logic Pro is you don't have to do this. But eventually, you 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 know you might get to the point where you want your song to be longer. So it might happen. Then, you, or well, something will happen. And what happens is when you get towards the end here, and you are still you still want to continue, but the song is like the music part, the the actual instrumental part is like done so you're like let's say it's right there then and it's like and then get, getting to the end so you click and pull it out well there's nothing here right in a second but you know what i mean you would just um actually i will show you a little sample of that just real quick so here we are uh i'll just give you a little a little uh, taste of what to do. How about that? Sound good? Okay, so you're on the microphone. And here we go. Since we're on it, I'll be honest. Oh, oh you're gross. You make me vomit. Yeah, you make me want to. But I'm good, though. And I'm good, though. And I'm good, though. So I'll take this and I'll drag it out for you. Drag it out some more. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. 
You see what I just did? You see what I just did? Oh, yeah. You can kind of see me on the microphone. See me reflecting, all reflective, all for you. With this reflective style music. I'll get used to it. <sighs> okay, I'm just being silly. Like, I usually get a little more seriously, but honestly, like, I, I do this. This is what I do. I freestyle. It's just fun. It's just a grand old time for me. So, I just wanted to show you what to do when it's like the beat runs up. You drag it up. So, you might have to keep dragging it. But... You should do it till, till your, your heart's desire till the song is over. So there's that crazy beat again. So I'm bringing it out till it'll have to stop right at the part where the piano is. But what I'm going to do is just because I took, oh no, I didn't put it in that spot. I guess I gave it another part. It's, it's just hard to tell. <laughs> it's like, I'm just looking at this screen. Anyways, so that beat will be there, and I'm going to figure it out here. I don't know if I'll put that uh, piano in the beginning. So then, this is important. You want, obviously, you're like, okay, how do I get back here with this little wand thing to play to where I was at and all that stuff? So I'm take, I take it right back. You just, do you see what I just did? I clicked right there. When you go like that and it looks like that, and you know that's going to take it there. So let's see. Okay, I'm going to see how this sounds. Okay, we're going to start off with the synth instead of that piano you just heard. I don't know how much you actually heard of. You could, you probably, I know you had to hear it, but I mean, these are my headphones. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, this is good. Okay. I like this. I like it. I'm feeling it. All right. What I'm going to do is bring that piano in, and I'll just go back and forth with it. This is going to be a nice song. <laughs> it usually don't start the song at the end, but hey, whatever. This is freaking heavy. It's the stupid tablet. <laughs> but whatever. It's not worth it. So maybe I'll build some muscles. My hands are pretty strong anyways. Um, for me, I use my ears a lot and listen. And if I like something or if I, I'm like, okay, or I'll like my...